Right then, so let's have a look at this second lesson. Sorry about the, the stat stuff, it was just really messy. So right, lesson two is all about plumbing. These are really, really nice. So we've got repairs are being carried out in a tall block of flats. The wheel is attached at the top of the scaffolding, but it's axis horizontal. Rope runs over the rim of the wheel runs buckets of mass two kilogram tied at both ends. One bucket is filled with three kilograms of thing. So I've got one which is 2G, and well, that's the empty one, and one which is full, which is now 5G. It's one string, so it's one tension. So it says, so it's released from a height of 10 meters. So I'm going to assume that the 5G is going to take it down, which means the 2G is coming up. Right, it says, state the modeling assumptions. So from all the information given there, you're not told that the pulley is smooth. You're also not told that the rope is light and inextensible. So it doesn't add anything to it. And everything moves at the same time. Extensible there. Right then. Okay. So it says, uh, with what acceleration does it move? Find your answer. And then it wants the speed when it hits the ground. Right then. So it's not asking me for the tension, but the chances are I'm going to find the tension. Right, so let's have a look at the two kilogram mass. Let's do F equals MA. So the force in the direction of travel, so this is traveling up, is tension, minus 2g, that's acting down, is a mass of 2 times a. So if I put the t and the a on the same side, I've got t minus 2a is 2 lots of g, which I've taken as 9.81. So now let's look at the 5 kilogram mass. And that's do F equals MA in the direction of travel. So this one's travelling down, isn't it? So it's 5G minus T is equal to 5A. So I do a bit of a rearrange, and I've got T plus 5A is equal to 5 lots of 9.81. If I put that in symbol, so 1 minus 2 and whatever it is, 19.62, and 1, 5, and whatever that is, 49 point something or other. Um, I can put it in symbol and it gives me, it gives me the tension as well, um, which they've not actually written down here. So whatever that is from your, from your calculator, and it gives me an acceleration of roughly 4.20 meters per second squared. So that's part A done. Part B says, Find the speed at which the filled bucket hits the ground. So this is a SUVA, isn't it? So that's the positive direction is going down. So S is 10. Initially it's at rest. V is what I want. My acceleration is whatever I worked out there. 4.20. And I'm not fussed about the time. So anything without T. So it's got to be V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. What time are we on here? 347. Uh, so if I put that in, so V squared is naught squared plus 2 lots of 4.2 times 10. So V squared is 84.1. V is 9.17 meters per second. Whoops. To 3 sig fig. There. Now I'm on 408. I wonder if it's worth stopping it and doing part D on its own. Right, hang on a second.